Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and I'm here with Hank Parker with another weekly tip from Hank Parker where he answers your questions and this week's question comes from Bob from, uh, what is that city? Mahoney, Mahoney City, Pennsylvania is what I'd get. Mahoney City? Mahoney City. Hope we, <laughs> hope, hope we got that right, Bob, I really do. Uh, the, the question here is, uh, uh, we'd like to know during a tournament, when do you know you should give up fishing a pattern or lure and try something else? And what are, are the factors that you consider when you make that change? That, that's a great question, and I like that. And it varies. You know, uh, I fish tournaments on the St. Lawrence Seaway in New York where you're going to catch 100 bass a day, most likely. Not always, but you have a really good chance of doing that. And then I fish tournaments on Cherokee, Tennessee, where if you get five bites, you've had a great day. So obviously, it's a complete different mindset on St. Lawrence Seaway versus Cherokee Lake in Tennessee. Tennessee. So it depends on what body of water you're on. You know, most of the time you can look at the history when you've been to a lake or you've looked at a lake and you've been there in the past and there's a history on how many pounds it took to win a tournament and how many guys had limits in that tournament. I try to research and find out as much as I can about a lake and when you're fishing in that tournament, it all depends on what body of water you're on and what kind of bite you have and how many pounds is it going to take to win to make that adjustment. Again, Cherokee, Tennessee, hey, if you get five bites in a day's time, you've had a great day. So you want to really concentrate on, uh, on staying with your game plan and not deviating. You know, you put it together in practice and stay with it. On the other hand, St. Lawrence Seaway, man, there's a ton of smallmouth in that place and a lot of great largemouth. And if you don't have any fish going by 10 o'clock, throw that pattern away and, and go to a go-to pattern that you know produces fish uh, on those tidal rivers and, and just make small adjustments after you uh, uh, get your plan together and go for it. I'm not saying, I did say it, but let me back up and retract that. I never liked throwing my game plan away. Uh, but if I hadn't got a fish and I'm on the St. Lawrence Seaway, something's definitely wrong because I should have already caught 20 by now. So I'm going to make some pretty big changes there. Whereas if I were in Tennessee, uh, I would make little bitty changes perhaps, but I wouldn't get too radical because five bites is good. I'm looking for 100 bites in, in, in on the St. Lawrence Seaway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more bigger adjustments in New York than I would in Tennessee. That's my whole point. So whatever is work for you in practice, modify that. Make little changes. For example, if you were catching the fish on the shoreline on a big rocky shoreline and there's big boulders there and you were catching on a spinnerbait and today you just can't buy a bite, man, you hadn't had a follow up, you hadn't caught a fish, go to a crankbait. Go to something to get on the bottom. They're not coming up after that bait. If that doesn't work, go to something you can fish slow like a jig or a sinking worm or a tube. Uh, but don't just abandon that area. If those fish were there, they hadn't gone far. And if you can't catch them in there on the inside, then move out and find the point. Find an area where there's a break line and then fish that break line. Those types of adjustments are the adjustments that have paid off for me rather than abandon the whole game plan that you've put together in practice. That's fantastic advice, Hank. Bob, I hope that answers your question. For more tips and tricks like this, you need to visit hankparker.com where there's tons of tips and tricks and articles on there. You can just immerse yourself in. There are lots of great information on there. And if you want to be notified of the next tips and tricks that we post, subscribe to our channel. Until then, have a great day.